is Vivian with The Buzz, and today I am joined by a very awesome team who's going to be hilarious today, and doling out secrets, telling us all the stuff, right? We've got Boss Fight with me today. Welcome, guys. Yay! Hi. Hi. Can I just say, I can't believe we have High Fish on. I'm so excited that High Fish is here. Is that, is that okay, to say? okay, I'm off. See you guys. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm out. <laughs> okay. Well, it's just because I've never really talked with high fish, but have you ever like seen like cats by cats? I'm always like, oh my gosh, high fish is so awesome. Oh, um, I'm getting red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it. from his. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who we have here. We've got Scooby, the captain, right, hey, hey. of the EU team, but lives in NA, like the time zone, right? Or, we don't There's judge. a lot wrong. We'll talk about it later. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, uh, and then we have Radar Head. Can I just call you Radar? Radar? Yeah, that's fine. Radar. Radar. Radier. This way. Yeah, it's different. Radier. I don't know everyone's going to... Radier. Radier. Right. Um, and we have Highfish, of course, who apparently, I've been told, was so good looking that just could not... He could not be here. And then also, we had to even out the people not showing their faces, and that would be Viper. Hello! Here. Or his voice. You guys, stay tuned. At, at the very, very end of this, he will reveal his face. <gasps> you won't see it at all. Actually, I have a, I do have a off-screen a, a picture of Viper, and anytime he makes me mad, I'm going to remove a pixel <laughs> until he reveals. So don't make me mad, Viper. Smart. <laughs> And then we have Legile, Legil, Legal. Legile. Legile. Legil. Legil. He's from right? France. Yeah. He's we're we're going to work out all of the pronunciations and see which one is the correct one. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. You'll find tell it. us. You'll find I thought it. that was the purpose of this you meeting. Can, you you, you okay. can say Legil, Legil. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Legil. Legil. Anyway, let's flip the script. Mm-hmm. Here, all we're right. with Vivian. Okay, right. Okay, so, well, the bus. What are the Kalettos? How are the Kalettos? The Kalettos are what happened to What happened to Kalettos? Oh, um, what happened to them? I don't know. I have no idea. We we had one shot to to to. to I know. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you accept the challenge? We because the, uh, the, the funny thing is, is, when we actually stopped becoming a full girls team, everyone became pussies. So they just didn't want. <laughs> Because you guys wanted, we could only do it on the weekend, and and everyone was like, no, we can't play on the weekend. I would have played you guys. I don't care about beating you. Nice. I think it's fine. I'm totally down with that. A lot of U.S. teams have <laughs> refused our advances. It's uh, I don't. It wouldn't. It see burned. that's the thing. It's like people are like, oh, they don't want to. I mean, there's to me, I'm like, who cares? Like, we're not even in that range. So, so who cares if we the, get the thing? The thing down? that's really important is that I think that. At least for boss fight and our history, we've always been playing our best game when we were playing as many challenges as possible, regardless of whether or not they were like suicidal, that we were going to lose them from the beginning challenges. Like that, that's what makes us play better um, in the long run. Taking yes, challenges. losing. <laughs> I don't know if I totally agree with that, but I kind of agree with it in spirit. I like the philosophy of it. It's very like wise captain, you know, let me tell you about how. <laughs> To succeed and onward. Uh, you, you, you always see it in the, in the end of the season that everybody starts challenging everybody just to get into top eight. Mm. Oh. It's, it's oh, that's when we said no. We came to the last week. And we're like, <laughs> no. we don't need a challenge. No, we're, we challenge no, everyone six, throughout the season. Number five, it's okay. Yeah, you don't have to do it anymore. Four. We were four. Well, we were four. 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 Oh. To me, boss fight was like really like it, you guys had really cool, interesting players on your team. Right, who like? Then some of us. them were like, some of them were like, "Oh my god, <laughs> we're too good. So we can't. We gotta go do. Yeah, we gotta go do other stuff, right?" And then, and then, snuck their way back in, I suppose. All right, but, so, so let me break it down for you. All right, so this let's is what hear happens. it. Okay, so we said uh, like boss fights always been top five, top four, top five. Uh, like was, you know, six, sure. seasons from season two to like season six, seven, eight. Then nine, I joined till season till season nine. This um, is season nine. Mm-hmm. There goes my. Uh, Camera again. He's a professional. Hi, Raider. <laughs> is this right? Oh, yeah, yes, yes. I like it. It's perfect. You know. Anyway, so and then uh, of course, so um, in season nine, uh, season eight, 
Boss Fight actually came second. They were in the finals against beginners. Everyone's just forget that. You're thinking of seven, I think. Wasn't yeah, eight seven. the train wreck? Where's eight was no the train wreck. No, no, nine was the. We're in ten now. Nine was the train eight. wreck. Eight, 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 train eight as well. Eight, eight, eight as well. No, eight. We came second. We 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 were in the finals against beginners. Season no, nine is no, right now. Was... We are in season nine. Okay, so season seven. <laughs> uh, so season seven, boss fight. Like before that, boss fight went made it to Oculus Connect five. I'd rejoined the team to help them get there. Um, that and was I stepped back again. I did. I mean, because we had you were a man down at the time, so I just yeah. I stepped in because you know the entire debac debacle with having um. Those are the wrong seasons. Either. Anyway, OC five different thing. But the point is that um, <laughs> boss fight uh, in season seven was in the finals. And they made it to Leicester, and they almost beat Global Cam and blah 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 blah. Um, you know, on the last live um, ESL um, stage, so it was a really great season for them. And then season eight happened, and uh, it didn't start out great. Me and Scooby were at Viper's wedding, so we I were in a villa Thanks in Portugal. For the Good wedding. It was amazing. Um, <laughs> we were in a villa, and that's when our first like boss fights. I mean, me and Viper weren't playing for the team anymore for quite a while at this point. Sure. Um, but they did have Hoochie. They had a great lineup. Hoochie, Weather Balloon, um, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scooby Doo, Legill, you see Death, Death. Ligel. Um, Ligel. Um, but then we lost to like, I don't know, some a team we didn't expect to lose to. I think it was like, Big really Red One. Big Red One. Oh, Big Red One. Wow. B Wrath is a respectable team these days. Oh yeah, they, they are, absolutely are. Yeah, B Wrath yeah. are very respectable. These but days. then it just fell apart from there. But, I don't but, know what happened. Boss fight. Preseason. Boss fight imploded. Uh, Hoochie had problems with upper management. Um, Scorpio lost heart with the team. Weather Bloom got bored of the game. And within like a space of a week and a half, having lost like every fucking game, boss fight imploded. Um, and it was a terrible season. Even like me and Vi Viper rejoined, then I rejoined just to literally for one week. I rejoined for one week just to <laughs> fill up that extra spot so they didn't have to forfeit a game. Yeah, uh, that's what and, I and we ended up we ended up actually forfeiting a game um in one of the last against three or four weeks. Yeah, against, against the newbies, against the newbies new, yeah. a new team. Yeah. They won twelve oh against us. We only <laughs> so had boss three fight. people up. We had three boss, we actually it had was because of up. the time switch, because like yeah. people cannot read their fucking clock. Oh yeah, that was true. <laughs> Which one of these guys can't read their fucking clocks? Hypish. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> this, Point. this guy and this I'm guy. I'm not gonna throw Viper <laughs> under the bus like that. Why would I do that? Oh uh, shit! It was me. I remember now. So season, <laughs> yeah, so season, so season eight was an implosion of boss fight, and it had the worst record it's ever had. Like only six wins in the entire season. Right. Um, um, oof, was it that bad? Oh. And so when when I, when I, I, I joined, could, sorry, so, sorry. So then, placed over something. Can I just can I just remember when we almost re-signed a legendary former player at the championships in season season seven? That was OC five Kebo. That was it. Yeah. Mm. That's why I rejoined the team to help them get into OC five because that happened. Yeah. Kevo? Sorry, anyway, you, you wouldn't know him. He's before your time, but he was a very good player. Um, I, I know Kevo. You don't remember meeting me at all, do you? Uh, <laughs> you definitely didn't meet Kevo. No, I didn't. But you're no, he's like before. He's <laughs> hilarious. Before. What's happening here? <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, so the implosion <laughs> happened, and then me, Viper rejoined, and Highfish joined, and this was the end of season eight. And yeah. we were a new team. We were trying to figure each other out, right? We're, we were basically a brand new team again. Yeah, there, so was, there, was, there was so much controversy. And then suddenly, yeah, the team, like, the roster completely fucked up. And then suddenly I saw Radar and Viper. Like, I was like, yeah. that's interesting. Are they actually good? And no offense, I just didn't know. I mean, how can I offend you? I so season eight, we, like, even They're with me bad. and Viper rejoining and Highfish, who at the time was very new to the game, but, like, Viper... And it's better than all of you now, right? High five. Oh, jeez. No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time! <laughs> he does that a lot. But anyway, so yeah, season eight ended badly for us. It was the worst worst season boss fights ever had by easy, you know, by, by like, we finished, like, what, 28th? 20th? 20th. I think it was 20th. We didn't slip that. 20th. Oh, 20th. one can only dream. 20th. Like, we were always top four. Top five. Top four? Top 19th. four. 19th. 19th. And we finished top, 19th. Top seven. Um... I'm going to let someone else talk now because I've been speaking forever, but that's where we were last season. Yeah, and I think we after the the placement matches, we, we started off at like 28th this season. So to say it was a meteoric rise is an understatement. We're a fucking rocket ship! Yeah, but like you guys were just like a rocket ship that had already been to space and you guys were just 
stalking for a little bit. Yeah, we deorbited for a while, you know, to, yeah. for some maintenance. To drop so it wasn't like, you, it wasn't <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> Sorry, what? Out of nowhere. But you guys have been really awesome because there's a, a definite, a definite play style difference, right, with Boss Fight. There's like a bit of fun mixed with aggression and, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sexuality. Fun. Like sexual panache. Yeah, like, I didn't... Like, <laughs> You don't know what it is, but you smell it. Even though you can't smell it, you smell yeah. it. You feel it. Yes. That musk. How did he know? <laughs> He's so good at That's this. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, uh, let's talk about that, guys. Um, so this season, you guys are going to be playing. You guys are going to be playing in the Round Robins, right? And you're, in your group, you have SMC, Global Chem, and... Blaze. Blaze! Blaze, of course. They were my guests last week. Um, and wow, you guys, I can't wait to see when Blaze beats you guys. It's going to be until late. Ooh, ooh. Awesome. Well, you know, no, we, we, played, I, we played Blaze. Did you actually season. look at our mass, match history That's fight with Blaze? Yeah. I did. Uh, Steven, uh, Steven, oh, calm look down. at the last weeks. Look at, look at the last weeks. I so, can't read. Yeah. Who's playing me, Vivian? Um, three of uh, boss fight lost five times this season, and three of those were against Vikings. Um, <laughs> you played and, them three times. And one, four times. and one, one against Rome, and that's the moment one, that we one, said once against beginners. Yeah. No against Rome. more. Wait, hold on. You guys no lost more. You guys lost to Rome. They were no, different. Basically, trash. They were we, different team. That's interesting. We, needed, we, needed, we didn't we expect needed to lose. We needed. Was that, that loss this season? Because yeah. because Wrecked everybody. Because the Colettos beat Rome. Yeah. yeah, they subbed in Ligo for me in that game. So. Yeah, it was, uh, you weren't here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, there I, was, I, a, I, there I, was a game that Highfish wasn't there, and we were like, well, where is Highfish? This is going <laughs> yeah, down. Was, was, I was on vacation. That was Beginners, uh, wasn't it? No, he was there for Beginners. All right, yeah. so, so um, we lost against Rome, and it was the, the hardest defeat we had all season. That was the one defeat where I walked away, and I was, I was fuming, like, in real life for a week. I don't think all of us were. There's a rumor Maybe. that we got capped uh, with four <laughs> players up, or was it five players up? Uh, don't fall. Yeah, four. Uh, versus their one player. There's a rumor that we got capped. Five v one. Yeah, right, 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 right out the gate, we killed. I think two of them hunted down the remaining two. I sniped the shit out of them. And then we were like, really we were like, all right, guys, only one enemy left. We got this. Let's just swarm the map. But the one place that we didn't think to look was on the objective. And, you know. <laughs> the reason why I can joke about this is because you guys are really a good team. So it's like, it's interesting to, no, I mean, come on. And first of all, well, there's this. only like, there's like four teams to choose from in EU. So. Oh, just drawing out. What five? Oh. Ow. <laughs> Wait, how many? Come on. So our big turning point, no. was, there was also pacifists, right? So, so oh, pacifists yes. beat Vikings, they beat beginners, they beat Silent Purge, and that was that were like we'd lost the beginners, we'd lost the Vikings, and then we played, uh, we played pacifists, um, and we beat, uh, we beat them like on like two the first two maps and the third map we were like just had fun, um, and that was the turning point. We were like shit, we just killed the like the giant slayers, we just beat the giant slayers. It was on the pacifists. on the voting thing, it was like thirty eight votes against two votes to, you know, for us <laughs> to win. Yeah, uh, and we won, and that was like a turning point. We're like, shit, we're actually not terrible. <laughs> um, and then we lost the Vikings two more times. Who's counting? And a Rome once, but yeah. And then Rome. Did you guys lose to Rome? <laughs> hey, we, beat them. we had a All we had a once. second challenge with them. We, we had a revenge. Yeah, and we beat a them revenge. like thirteen. We had thirteen points uh, in that in that second round. So, so what happened? What what actually happened? is we had our button cup match against Rome. Um, we all forgot about it, got really drunk the night before, and it went poorly. <laughs> um, the following week, we decided, you know what? I can't believe we didn't do this. Let's put high fish in. Um, and then we, we beat them. So, you know, moral of the story is- You're welcome, high fish, high fish says. Really the Viper, Viper knew like high fish before. High fish, go. Like, like for instance, like everyone, like high fish is amazing, but he's also terrible. He's mostly amazing, oh. but he's also terrible. I um, understand. His boat. Feeling, his boat. It's, 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 it's I'm new to the game, with. so. <laughs> I met. I met. I met Highfish on a very cold and wet, stormy night in another game called Contractors. <laughs> and he was one of the few guys who could go toe to toe with me. The big guns here. <laughs> the big guns. At that moment, I knew. 
I was going to remember that name. So when he turned up in the recruitment channel for Bosford, I was like, we'll take him. Who's that guy? Who is that guy? <laughs> we'll take him. Dude, for everyone like, gives like high fish virtual blowjobs. All right. We, we, uh, we played. Um... I tried to it's, it's not all about me. We, <laughs> we, we played. <laughs> on, guys. Shut up. Our last match against about beginners, we beat them 4 1 on downfall without high fish. Yeah, yeah. Saying, <laughs> we're not a you know we're not being carried just okay, by high fish. Calm down, having... radar. It's like it's like one second is away. You're like don't, don't get so jelly. Is fucking badass. We're, we're, we're getting okay. ahead of ourselves, guys. Speaking speaking of badass, you guys, weather balloon is back, right? Mm. He's never really I'm left. I'm gonna get off again. Weather balloon, what come back. We want we want to see you. So weather balloon weather balloon weather balloon has a number of tech issues um, with his VR headset. Uh, that Who doesn't? Yeah, well, yeah. I I don't. Shut he's running up. a Pi Max. No, and <laughs> I, I, I have the original Oculus Rift. Yes, and it still works. And uh, if uh, Oculus hears about this, uh, I'm so happy about this. Uh, so uh, whenever you want to sponsor me. No problem. Uh, <laughs> Oculus Rift, Oculus Rift, Oculus Rift, Oculus Rift, <laughs> Oculus Rift. Yeah, so Oculus, just, Oculus, Oculus, Oculus. Clear. This could be what? your logo. Oh wait, that is that is your. <laughs> oh. Full disclosure: even though I have the Oculus logo on me, I am sponsored by HTC. Who is? But isn't? I do love their okay, controllers. Like They're great. Okay, which one? Oh yeah, you mean, co- yeah. You mean you mean the one that broke down? I love, I love, this this doesn't happen. break down, baby. It's gonna have such a hard time. You editing. should try this one. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. nice that's controller. why you never. That's why you never miss. Some people have accused me of using those things, but to be honest, I I'm just more of a keyboard and mouse kind of guy. Yeah, I hear you. No, this is great for casting. Speaking of casting, we have two casters here with us, right? And I would say a little bit of. You know, analysts. Well, so you were talking about your the highs and lows of boss fight. You know, you you lost to all these teams, and then you beat the team that beat all of these other teams, which is something that happens often in Onward, and it's it's it astounds people, or it's just like befuddling at times which teams win. What do you guys make of that, though? Uh, especially this season, there's a lot of like crazy upsets. Is that? I mean, it feels like almost like it's just a part of. It's really interesting because I really felt that the the win we had against beginners really flew under the radar. Like I, I just I thought there'd be more kind of like interest in that that we beat beginners on their downfall map four one. Well, it wasn't cast. Exactly, it wasn't cast. So sort of it, even watching league general, it didn't really kind of pop up in conversation a whole lot. Dude, it, it wasn't like cast, but beginners beginners is also coming off of sort of their worst season ever. They're eleven and five. I mean, if you look at their past five seasons, mm-hmm. they're like twelve zero, fifteen zero, seventeen zero, and now here we're looking at eleven five. It's you know, it's maybe a little bit less oh. news. I can understand that. What do you guys make of that? Like. Like a team that's so so on top, so consistently. They've got the most victories in uh, in Onward VRML. They've got the most championships under the belt. And I think what the key thing is there is that they lost uh, Kensai last season. They've lost Kev. Sinkas. Um, Sinkas, not so much. Um, Kev. They lost. Kev's the big loss. <laughs> they lost Kev. Uh, so they've lost some key team members, and I think they're still trying to mesh. They're still trying to. Rebuild themselves, you know. They still got I, the Woods Brothers and Killinger as the core, I, but and Smoils. and Smoils. Smoils. Oh, and Smoils. How could you forget How the famous you, cat? Why would you? Yeah, he's. I think I have a mental thing where I kind of actively try and blank out Smoils. I hear brothers. you. I understand. <laughs> Maybe the season we're seeing a little bit of fatigue from the top teams, but we're also seeing other teams coming up, uh, you know, up the rankings, um, who are doing exactly that. You know, playing together, and learning I think... what the chemistry together and. I think a lot of that fatigue comes from lack of content and pro- de- development progress. Like, I know that they are making progress. It's just, I mean... I don't think that's fair to say. Like, I don't, well, as a competitive... This they've been playing this game for, not the top seen. teams have been playing this game for, like, close to three years. That's a long yeah. time to play one game. Right, right. But when's the last time we saw any new guns or, you know, like... But I think, I I think, like I think the important game. thing... The important thing... So, uh, uh, what well, Viper said maybe sells the devs a little bit short. They've been working hard on getting things like custom maps out, but the League doesn't embrace that custom content. Exactly. Um, yeah. So, you know, uh, I, I think I've seen... Uh, recently, quite a few league players organizing like custom map only lobbies, not because they're trying to practice for the league, but just because they want to play onward, but they want to play this new content, and it's it's just not really a part of the league right now. 
So, you know, a lot of players are faced with the choice of, do I practice the league or do I have fun on the cool new content? Well, interestingly, Viper is talking about like the lack of content or, or what have you. I would say that uh, Boss Fight among some other teams have had, you know, um, their shared what was it league general popcorn fun that uh that has come with like your guys's choices in plays and and it also comes with everyone's own philosophy on how the game should be played so i want to kind of discuss that because it's 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 such an interesting topic so um, I would say that, um, I, and I don't understand this, perhaps you guys can explain this to me. There are some things with the game that I just don't, I just don't agree with and I don't think is right, um, but like something else that might be similar, other people would say like, oh, it's fine. So it's interesting that we all have these disagreements. I'd really love to hear from your guys' point of view though. The main, the main problem with clipping goes to just a, a general sense of fairness. I mean, there have been times in league matches where I've rounded a corner and been killed by a large chin holding a gun sticking out of a wall. And I mean, that's obviously, you know, even if you're playing your A game, are you really gonna come around the corner and be like, that right there, that's a hostile chin. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna eliminate that chin. Um, it's just, it, you know, it's not, it's not really, you know, what you expect to see, and it's not really within the confines of the, the game the way that it's meant to be played. Um, so I, I, I'll agree with that, you know, uh, clipping is, is, is sort of a hard no. Um, but the important thing to remember is that uh, we're competitive players playing in a league, um, you know, and, and we, we have these rules that are in place and the rules are enforced a particular way. And ultimately, it's our job as players to sort of work within the confines of the established rules to play the best possible. Sure. Um, so, you know, and, and it's going to sound kind of ruthless. I know that some people might scoff at it, but, you know, if something is, is established to be a part of the game, um, a, a, as far as the rules are concerned, um, again, it's our responsibility as players to make absolute full use of it. Um, you know, I mean, we're, we're here to have fun, but we're also here to win and be competitive. Um, so, you know, we, we just need to work with the tools that are available to us in order to have success. And, and one of those tools is smoke, smoking through walls. Like, okay, I totally see, and I, I kind of agree with the argument that, that it's, it shouldn't be allowed. But the problem is, it's so impossible to not do it, even by accident, that you're at a massive disadvantage if you don't do it. And it's really, it's a developer issue, which I don't feel like they're like discussing in a competitive league. I, no, I want to disagree with Viper, because that's just when Viper opens his mouth, and everyone can attest <laughs> to it. When Viper says something, I immediately like, like Ugh, no, definitely not, because he just said it. Like he gets his knife out. Fight. Fight. The word, the pen. I don't have a pen. It's mightier than the sword, Viper. Um, but like, like I, I agree that smokes aren't realistic. But I mm. fucking love how fun they are to use. Yeah, like, so, I love it too. They add so many. Thank you, Scooby. But they add so many dynamics to the game. Being able to like, you know, think about where can I put this smoke? Okay, if I put it through here, I'll obfuscate that view over there, and I can do this. And the, I love Strategy. that people can. I love the strategies and tactics that come out with, with broken smokes that can go through walls. And I don't so, want that to go away. I know this is a milsim, but I love the way smokes work. Viper is like vehemently against shield and snap turn. Yeah. Well, snap turn, let's just distinguish for a second. I'm against snap turn in general because oh, I feel okay. like it gives the player an artificial advantage that they can, they can turn faster than naturally humanly possible. And it would more be stably than naturally yeah. possible. Yeah. And, and stability. Like, I remember having started with someone in a contractor's form. Um, or, or Discord, where I they literally were in a corner and, and snap and blap me, but they never had to shift their body. There was no accuracy penalty to shifting that way. It was immediate snap, same level, same like everything, and bap, dead. And I was I was on a twenty one kill streak. I was pretty pissed. But that's, that's not. <laughs> but my point you is, so, so that's the issue with snap turn in general. So that's why uh, when I when I was a moderator, I, yeah, I re worked towards banning it at least at LAN events. <coughs> but it's no doubly so with shields, right? Like that's but, the, you know because shields supposed to have heft and weight and has supposed to yeah. lag behind them. So, so that's you... that that is that is the main thing because the developers recently went out of their way to make it difficult to move the shield around in order to specifically address um, the issue that players were sort of flicking the shield down, shooting, and then flicking it back up all before like a player could even plausibly react to that. So they added that sort of movement delay to directly address that type of strategy, which they didn't see as a legitimate part of the game. And now it's just come right back with, oh, we'll just aim your gun over here and then snap, turn forward, shoot, and then snap, turn back, and the shield moves instantaneously. Yeah. So it's, it's essentially reintroducing um, what was specifically addressed by that change from the devs. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's natural to be opposed to that. 
let me put it to you like this, Viv. Okay, hypothetically, purely hypothetically, if it, if it were possible for an individual to have a button, or say, say, say uh, as opposed to Snap turning you to a button that may immediately crouched or proned you. Just imagine that. That would be considered an exploit. Why is it Snap turn? I don't know. Because it's, it's a checkbox on the menu. I personally like to use Snapdragon just for the fact that I get entangled. Well, you have 50 hours, table. high fish, okay? Nobody. <laughs> I'm yeah, but then you like, 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 I if, you, if, you, if you go down sub, uh, Subway, the stairs, for example, I always snap turn because I don't want to turn around like 10 times. Oh, that, my cable. Back, that back staircase where you've got to make like six right turns. Yeah, why wouldn't I snap turn there? I mean, it's like stupid to not. I mean. Well, but here's the thing is that I think that you guys also have the experience of at LAN events, it's illegal to snap turn, right? You have to turn it off. Uh, so you, you can't use snap turn. Maybe you guys are more used to it. I'm just thinking of people who have like no space that use snap turn. And I personally don't really think it's an advantage. I wish I could turn because I, I would, I used to switch it on and off, but I just kept hitting. Yeah. Well, that's, that's why, that's why, fair, that's why, that's why I think a snap turn is smooth turn, like a slow smooth turn that will Cute. For the most part, like if you didn't have the cable, I would agree. But with the cable, I feel snap turn is really. Yeah, nice. and that's why I think we uh, can't bring high fish to a land game. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> out. He's fucking out. No. Yes, because those are happening so soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Can you tell sorry. us more, Vivian? No. Hmm? No, she's being sarcastic. That was sarcasm, you stupid. I know. Yeah. Not his fault. He Did thinks you that he again, thinks really again, Yeah, yeah, like I Gilly. know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Lucas. Fuckers. No, I, I'm gonna jump right in front of that because mm -hmm. I fucking I hate the drama. Uh, one hear. thing I, I I jump on the guys uh, in the team straight away. The moment they're like I've got people in this team to delete comments. The moment I saw seen them because I don't want our guys creating drama. I don't want to be part of the fucking popcorn. Um, I yeah, fucking hate believe it or not, I hate radar it. I hate it. Restraining me an awful lot. Like, I, you think I'm a shitster? You would, you would know what I'd be like without him holding me back. I actually don't. I don't know if it's because, like, let me have. I don't know. I don't know. Like, a, a certain reputations. I don't know if I don't understand it just because, like, I know you or something. I don't know. I'm like, he's as not as any more obnoxious than some other people in league. No, no, I agree with or, that. You I know, agree. I mean, even Viper is worse isn't as, as bad as some of the people, but. I hate it. I hate it. Viv. It makes it like it's it's really what like sorry for calling you that control flip delete like the, the no the I, problem, was like, I was kidding I was kidding it's just it you know we're all everyone can be a keyboard warrior but you know we've met a lot of these people in real life sure put out. Yeah. We, yes, we've drunk with I mean. them and they're nice people in real life killing her oh my god killing oh, her when I met her in real life guy. I think big hug he has this big grin on his face he's such a sweet yeah. guy in real life is that true I'm he's so, he's so awesome in real life I I'm love such real life. like I totally want to like. Put him in my pocket. <laughs> I love killing. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I'm there's sure some there's some in there, some, Viv. There's some righteousness in people's attitudes in this game. Like, you know, when you see it on Discord and stuff, that people forget just, you know, like the thing about VR is that we're all supposed to be more mature, right? I mean, like sure. five, four out of the five people who are in this chat with you right now have kids. You know, we're all older guys. Boss Fight is the old man team, but. Older than my point is you. that we're all supposed to be more mature. VR crowd is supposed to be more mature. We're not supposed to be juveniles, and I hate that. I hate the juvenile behavior you see. In, in so I would actually like to comment on the fact that a lot of, like, I like the ghosting thing, for example. Like, <laughs> I, I had this conversation with Thunderpilot. I think the moderators do a fantastic job. Okay, the devs do a fantastic job. There That's will nice. be situations where game mechanics are not expressly forbidden to use in a certain way. Um, and people will, you know, be creative, and and they'll they'll come up with stuff. And like like for example, in a game recently where uh, a team they deactivated the objective early. Okay, I I went crazy at the mods because in my opinion, what they did they they team killed each other. So there was one guy left and deactivated the objective. In my view, there was nothing wrong with that. Granted, it's not poor sportsmanship, but they were creative and they conceded that objective, right? And I don't like it as a competitive sort of like, you know, for, in a competitive perspective, but at the same time, legally speaking, in the context of the rules, there's nothing wrong with it. And they got penalized, which I strongly took. A, uh, took absolute, took a that's absolute fucking bollocks. Penalizing people for stuff that's not, you know, specifically stated that's not allowed to happen because yeah. an, someone thinks of something, a new way of gaming the game. Fine, you say, don't do that again. You're making a rule, but uh, yeah, I hate that right. entire, like, like uh, retroactively punishing someone for something yes. they've done, like when it's not explicitly stated in the rules. That's and 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 people. Can I don't know say anything that, about oh, that. I, I can't you shouldn't, comment. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, that's sports sportsmanship. But like, they, you know, it's a game. 
And yeah. the rules didn't say I couldn't do it. So what's the problem? You know, so, uh, fine. So, I, I can accept going forward. We don't have, we're not allowed to do it again. I want to argue against that. But the, it's, the, it's the attitudes of... It's disappointing. Like the moderators choose yeah, what the well, moderators choose. Even, even it's the, more the about the toxicity rationale. that comes out. Things like that. Yeah, the rationale they use is like, oh, it's an exploit. And I'm like, that, that's, that's completely wrong. They did not exploit a game mechanic. I mean, so so I can I can I can understand. Um, so I've I've spoken with a number of people um, at length about that specific issue. I can understand, um, to some extent, not to a full extent. I can understand uh, why some people would consider that to be counter to the developer's intention. Um, sure. But to suggest that it in some way like abuses the game in a way that's not normally possible. So like, for example, um, in CSGO, something that would be called an exploit is if you find a way to like plant the bomb somewhere where it physically cannot be diffused. You're just pushing the plant the bomb button, which is a legitimate part of the game, but you are intentionally placing the bomb in a place that it cannot be diffused. Thereby you've automatically won the round. And that's, that is obviously like an abuse. Let's say VR gets really big. Is this going to be the FPS to watch? That's yeah, a good question. Being. No, no, yeah. Viper. No, no, I don't want to hear Viper's opinion. I think it. I think it's really, no, don't. I, just fucking I think it's really going to depend on which uh, on where the quest goes. Like, I, I think the quest is one of the biggest consumer markets out there right now, and the most successful to like the average Joe. So I think if it's gonna if it's gonna take off, it's gonna take off on what the equivalent of the VR console is. Uh, so it's really going to come down to how well the developers do on on the quest implementation. I think. We actually, compared to Pavlov, are pretty spoiled with our casters. Our casters. Oh yeah, no, no. The yeah, community totally. in Armored is so much more yeah. progressive and embracing. Like people, people. I've seen people flame the Armored community. I don't see where they're coming from. Like when you go into lobbies, everyone's so nice and helpful. Especially if, if you say you're a newbie. Um, like and mm. the Discord is so welcoming, and the Armored <laughs> community, and the casters, and everyone puts the work mm. in is incredible. Pavlov mm. is much more. It's it's very mm -hmm. elitist. It, it's they're nice guys. Like the Arctic guys are so nice, and the Voltron guys are so nice. But everyone it's, loves them. It's it's weird how like the community is stagnated um, around the competitive scene. I don't know why, because you would think that it's got such good potential with the search and destroy game mode and all the people seem to love that. It seems to have just been subsumed by fucking trouble in Terrorist Town. <laughs> That's why something like Onward works. Because it's a mill sim, so you don't play this game generally if you're a kid because you don't have the patience to die. I, I don't think you've ever been to the shooting range. <laughs> so that's why, that's why I call it daycare. Range. Look here, look. That's let me show you. The this is Viper. You this... just proved my point. You just proved my point. That's why they like um, yeah, the shooting range because they can respawn straight away. This is one of my trophies from the shooting range. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Collected that one today. I wear them like a necklace. No, but it's in fact they, they they play onward when it's more serious because it's more serious, and Pavlov, yeah, you you'll go there for having some quick fun, playing some VR, some yeah, just have say, fun and 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 onward you can you can you, it's something so, you can so what, play competitively. So so this is the, the the analogy I use. Onward is like long term relationship material, whereas Pavlov I view is like a quick hand job. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, Pav yes. Pavlov equals hand job, onward equals relationship. Yes, I need, I, I need to play Pavlov more. <laughs> <laughs> you probably but do. This is the thing. I'll oh, hop into Pavlov. No, if I've got oh, wow. fifteen minutes, I'm jumping into Pavlov for some deathmatch because Pavlov will actually load within that fifteen minutes, whereas onward won't. <laughs> Oh, oh, geez, Morty, we got another zinger on uh, oh, the devs there. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, somebody did Look, predict I, that there was going to be a Rick and Morty. Oh, that's why we're doing it. Okay, yeah, we're, we're what else did we predict? That. All right. That I would speak sense. Scooby would Scooby's going to say everything three times. Scooby's going to say everything three times. Scooby's going to say everything three times. <laughs> did he oh, say it's that? Just like, it's, yeah. it's just like a league match. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why is it tragic on our team? He knows us so well. <laughs> It just seems like it's meant to be. I can't quite you on our team. That was his recruitment video. What do we yeah. what do we ah, gotta do? Yeah. How how do you get on boss fight? Like what qualities do you need to be a boss fighter? As few hours as possible in the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, 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 you have to worship Lonely Viper. That's yeah. You have to blow Lonely Viper? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Wor worship worship is enough. You, you can't blow him, but to worship is enough. <laughs> 
You know, Caltrop plays Onward because a friend of his liked my video and got the game and introduced him to it. It's my fault. There's lots of people. There's lots of people who do that. Ask me. Yeah, when I when I first said I was, I was interviewing Thunder for yeah. for the show or not this show, the Hive. Um, someone's like, "Oh, I have a video of me playing with Lonely Viper." I had no idea. Who That's you crazy. Were. Yeah, I, I still I, don't. I, Show us. I actually, I actually started playing <laughs> Onward because I saw a video from Lonely Viper playing Onward and I was like, really? yeah, that's cool. Then I started playing with Lonely, Lonely Viper and I was, oh, oh, cool, he's playing with Why me. Why is wow, that wow. deal? What then, can I just then, point then, out? Then suddenly I'm in his team and I'm like, oh, I'm playing in a team with Lonely Viper. And then I learned to know Lonely, Lonely Viper and that's... <laughs> <laughs> don't heroes, right? he, has, don't he has good friends he has good friends well, I like can I just say something I, I, I don't know like Legil just came out of nowhere I think I was streaming Onward or something and he just came in and started kicking my ass on quarantine I was like who the fuck is this guy and we got him it's, uh, it's, uh, it was prior to Highfish yeah now this is pre Highfish deal. yeah Legil used to be a big deal so the prerequisite is you have to be over 37 uh, have at least one <laughs> child <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. and uh, either be physically challenged or um, or mentally challenged um, I like the ores that helps yeah. yep perfect yeah. I don't know why well, guys why are we a good team are we a good team we must be a good team we're an okay team it's why, good because you is... guys jive that's nice yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I have a, so I have the things... arguments we have the, like the arguments we have like highfish is German and he's so stereotypical. <laughs> like, you know, the stereotype of like I'm right, everyone he else knows is inferior. Um, is is, is <laughs> It's like if like Highfish is muted at the moment, at the moment they can't really speak. Sure. But that's Highfish to tea, and he wouldn't argue it. Like that's the thing. He would argue it. Of course, he would argue it. That's the thing. He argues everything. But he's amazing. <laughs> and I think he posted an article one time because you know he was even questioning his place on the team. Because um, we got into so many fights after so many scrims, and you know, we'd say, right, this is what we're doing. We're doing this, 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 and this. And the knife issue is like, oh, I'm gonna, f you know, he's he's over here, and the cap happens because he's out of position. But he's got three kills, great. Um, you know, so he's questioning his place on the team. We're questioning his place on the team. But then, you know, it works somehow. And then he finds an article that shows that like teams that argue more and disagree more tend to do better. You know, in real life, as as commercial teams and in sports teams, because they challenge each other. Because, you know, if people get on with each other, you know, and, and just do this, you don't really have that room for growth there. You know, like when you're doing this, you're finding a path that works for your team and it pushes your team forward. Maybe that's why we work because like Scooby-Doo, we could go into a match and Scooby-Doo could look right and always look right. And the enemy might be on the left and I'll be like, Scooby, why don't you look left? And Scooby would be like, okay, is that you? My neck doesn't, what am I supposed to know? I have eyes in the back of my head. I don't know how to take <laughs> fucking critical comments. No, 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 no. He'll say, I guarantee in 99% of the scenarios, they were on the right. <laughs> awesome. and, and I broke up. Can I take a sniper? Uh, and I'm like, dude, it's cargo. Can I take a sniper? <laughs> you know, and, and shit like that. And, and I think, but we have these huge fucking arguments. <laughs> But then we still here as a team. We still talk to each other. We get over it. We apologize. We move forward. And I think that's why Boss Fight's still a team to be reckoned with. You know, and I think that's why we still keep growing. And I think that's why the, the team hasn't stagnated because we we have these personalities and we don't let that that get away from us. And the stakes are not the same anymore. So, what do you guys think? Like. Eh. Was it ever about the money, though? Not for yeah, us. Boss fight were great. Man. It doesn't. And it doesn't have to be about money no, necessarily. It's... But do you think so... that, like, the way that people take the game, like how seriously they take it or their investment in it, is does it is there a correlation to the land events and money? And then now that there isn't any, or, or is it just like it doesn't matter about any of that? Like people's investment is because. Of it. No, I mean, no. I'm not. I'm on. not. I'm not directly aware of anyone whose whose attitude towards the game is seriously affected by um, the existence of money. I mean, of course, for everyone, that's going to be at least a minor factor. It, it changes the nature of things very subtly. Um, but I, I don't think there's anyone who you know is like playing the game very differently because of the possibility of money. Um, so, uh, yeah. I, let me sorry. let me rephrase that for Scooby. Oh, sorry, Lakeil, you talk. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I missed a part because I just disconnected, but uh, uh, people are not playing for money, maybe, but I, I, I did see teams starting to play for uh, being able to go to an event and see each other. Mm -hmm. 
over yeah. there. Yeah, that was the that's what changed so, things. That was a big motivator for me staying on as a yeah. mod as well because yeah. it allowed an, an additional member of Boss Fight to go to these events so we could all hang. So it's like I, I, I am I am so thankful to be able to to have done this uh, in Leicester and in California, seeing you guys. That was really the best thing. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It wasn't the money. Um, we actually um, paid for a uh, mad scientist who wasn't able to play because he was living in Japan uh, for the team at Leicester. We paid for him, and he was living in Brazil at the time. It gets confusing, but we paid for him to come to the UK and paid for like flights and everything from the earnings we were going to get from the event. Um, a part of that, obviously. Um, and the same was true in OC5. It wasn't about the money because, it, you know, it's money, but it's not a huge amount of money. It's, you know, like 10 grand is a lot of money, but when you share it out against the entire team, it's not a ludicrous amount. But the point was getting to see each other, getting to drink with each yeah. other, getting to interact with each other. Um, that was the game changer for us. That's what made us take it more seriously at those times. It was never about the, the money, but maybe it was the competition. You know, let it, me tell you, let me tell you, Viv, right? When I arrived at OC5, yes, OC5, that year we were competing, and I arrived late, and I came into the diner, and the boys were all sitting at the table. I'm like, hey, guys, it's me, Viper. And I'll never forget their reaction. <laughs> Complete indifference. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if you've ever been brought into the loop on that, Viper. But so we had suspected, because you were saying you'd gotten turned around at customs <laughs> and that you had to Again. go back to, back to Ireland. So, so – we had all suspected that you were actually just going to turn up, and we had literally all rehearsed that w that 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 whenever you turned <laughs> up, we all needed to be totally indifferent to it. We we specifically stated at some point, Viper's going to walk up. We didn't. We don't know if it's at the table. We don't know if he's going to walk up to us on the street. But we need to be absolutely stone faced. And, and that's yeah. It that's the other side of that. So the other thing is when the very first line event uh, in Leicester. Um, I introduced myself as the Lonely Viper. Like, I walked down, oh, like, yeah. hey, it's me, the Lonely Viper. And everyone's like, huh. And then, like, all these people coming up and giving me hugs. I'm like, oh, shit, I love this. You know, I played Onward because of you. Because <laughs> I had a Lonely Viper t-shirt on. Viper, like, me and Viper met up before that. And he gave me a Lonely Viper t-shirt. So I was like, Lonely Viper t-shirt, Lonely Viper. And everyone's giving all these hugs. And I'm like, and I'm like, like a room full of people everyone's like half drunk and then i'm like actually i'm sorry at this point you guys i'm just right ahead and everyone's like who <laughs> well i'll tell you when i met viper i didn't know it was him he kept talking to me like i was like how, who are you and then i saw the dip yeah i forget that a lot of people don't know what i look like i do now strange <laughs> strange <right? laughs> how does that happen <laughs> No, I did. I remember the for, that I did at, inquire about the guy in the mask. Is like what's up with that? Fiber, um, stop blow, stop blowing your sword. I know it, it, it's it's like right next to me. So uh, it's Vivian's sword. Thank you. It's, it's big. Size matters. I'm polishing the shaft. <laughs> Oh, Christ. Sorry. <laughs> so, did, did, so, 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 Vivian, did you, did you honestly expect that this was the direction that this that this interview was going to take? This it's is just great. like boss fight practice all over again. Yeah. Yeah. This is wonderful. I mean, this is what we want to see, right? Is the dynamic because some teams, like, you know, it's go on radar. I, I, like you caught a great video of me, uh, like, of me and the girls' relationship, I remember. Like uh, we were against Blaze, I think, on Snow Peak, and you caught, yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> Your special kiss, 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 focus. Oh, oh my! Hold the Hesco. I'm so glad I caught that love, you know? I believe they've done that IRL, too. <laughs> that's, that's my boss. Was. Is that um, is that just in game or? Uh, yeah, because they we, were playing yeah, in the same room that day. There, actually, there's no other way. There's no other way. If you guys um, <laughs> if you guys had to like marry with another team, like Club it's suddenly game Club fest. Club again. Oh, that's a good question. See, I would have said global cam because Raph is just so fucking hot. Your Raph is so hot. So hot. yeah, he's on the calendar. I want to yeah. say mayhem. Yeah. I I, I wanted to say Globokin, but but uh, um, arsenic is gone. So 
No, it's me. Yeah, and... Arsenic, it's not the I, same I, anymore. I, I, I like James. Is it his voice? Mm. His voice, his body, his, uh, <laughs> his, his drinking problem. <sighs> yeah. Nice. How did you know really, about that? <laughs> I really think Otto, uh, Otto I, I, from Global Campus. I met him, I met him uh, in, in I Otto from Global Global Campus when so uh, I was drunk. Yeah. He was drunk and we had a great time. What yeah, James Global is... Camp is such white material. Very okay. white material. So He's who's a real the mistress? homemaker. Oh, a mistress. Yeah, no. no, he's not a mistress. No, no. Otto's no. Like, if you get no. Otto, you don't let go of Otto. Otto's like the one you, you marry and have kids with and have a long yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's And then all, Jizzy, that's Jizzy all. comes along. He's like, hey, well, I'll be your side chick. <laughs> <laughs> so and that's actually interesting because <laughs> Globo, <laughs> Globo, um, <laughs> Globo um, <laughs> roster <laughs> has changed. Yeah. And, yeah. But, and they're still... They're, yes, but they're still at the top of their game. Like, mm -hmm. what... I mean, they still have a. They still have the same core of, of people. I mean, obviously, you know, the brothers Thunder and Otto are are a very big part of what makes Global Camp work. Mm -hmm. But hey, I we'll just say in, one uh, thing. In a few hours. Yeah, one one thing, one thing, right? Has really like just just kept Global up there. That's Mike fucking Crook. Yeah. Like, yeah, that I guy. don't know. He he fills a similar role in Global Camp that I feel in Boss Fight. He does the shielding and the sniping. <laughs> Viper's been studying him. I've been yeah. watching him very closely. I have a little hard on for him. His sniping is, is good. Is that who you would steal if you would if you could steal it? How do you guys think about stealing? Is I don't like it. Me? I think it's really bad we, for we, him. We, we genuinely don't think about stealing players. Yeah, no, not unless like unless the player went free agent and we like really liked him and he's a lot of fun and he was like making stupid predictions about what we're gonna say or something. <laughs> um, but 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 also like the things that we have on the team. Um, Scooby's a very analytical person. He's very logical. Um, he's very hot-blooded at the time, but he's analytical throughout. Um, Viper is just an idiot throughout, but Neil <laughs> is a wonderful person um, with a beautiful soul. Um, you see Death, again, a beautiful person with a beautiful soul. Is that um, true? Yeah. I still question that. I didn't know. Absolutely. High Fish is just cancer is and horror. Amazing. Uh, high Fish <laughs> is horrid. Uh, cancer is just a horrible oh, Sorry. Uh, high Fish is just a horrible person throughout. Um, and 35 is a really wonderful person. So we balance each other out. We really do. We, we, we balance it like just the, the, the key thing to remember when you when you look at boss fight is just to ignore everything the viper says. That's you know, that's, that's just ignore everything. You know what the most fun thing in the world is, Vivian? Having an idea and knowing that Raider will instantly be annoyed that I had a, that, that I had a, an individual thought. <laughs> <laughs> on, on more than on more than one occasion, Viper has fed me ideas and said, "Hey, can you post this in general so that it doesn't get instantly shit on?" <laughs> well, I have a question. Okay, so if um, who on the team would most likely be a couple, like, oh. uh, yeah, radar and high fish easily. Radar and high fish. Yeah, radar. Okay. No, I think we could all vote for radar and high fish. We're shipping okay, them. if We're if you guys together. all did like a battle royale, like in real life. <laughs> Who would be the last standing member? That's me. Me. Right here. Right here. There's no, no doubt about it. Uh, wait, I'm wait. I fucking do prove you, it right now. Do, do you need skills to be in the life? Uh, in the last yeah, because the Joe won't get any. <laughs> I, 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 could be, I could be just hiding somewhere. Lowest point of boss fight where you came closest to leaving the guild. Oof. Today. Yeah, that no. Right now. <laughs> Today. No, uh, no yeah. Uh, it must have been uh, not last season, but the season. Yeah, no, it was last season. When 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 we actually had only three two people who were available to play. Highfish said Highfish was sick that uh, that Sunday. And he said, Okay, I'll 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 play and we only had three up. For that week, and, and we, we uh, yeah, we had to tell newbies that we were not able to play. We would forfeit the match. <sighs> that was for me was like oh, fuck, I tried. This is not well, going. I tried. I was, yeah, the that's how Game Fist was not, born. This is <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this, no, 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 no. Game Game Fist is not a deal. This, th that was for boss fight for me. Was like oh, fuck. this is not good. This is not good.
Um, that was that was definitely a low point. I had a couple of thoughts. Yeah. They're like, wow, we were second place last season, and now we yeah. just forfeit a match because we can't even get the minimum number of I, people I, together. I, I, I think I think a few weeks a few weeks before that, I I, I think I sent a, a message to to Scooby Doo, like, dude, if 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 uh, the, the the only reason I'm staying is because of you. <laughs> uh, if 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 you would go. I'm oh. I'm off immediately. Uh, Honestly, there, 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 was, there, was, there was a yeah. low point. So that was that that was that was that was a week or two after um, I had been punished for uh, accidentally intentionally shooting myself in the hand, um, despite that not being prohibited in the rules. So I got punished for that. Um, so I was at a bit of a low point there as well, which was related yeah. to Legil's statement. <gasps> Yeah, but at that point, there was no, it, it was not certain Couldn't that Raiderhead and Viper would start again or fully commit to it. It, yeah. it was there were uncertain times, and then and then they came back and everything started rolling again. And yeah, I, I feel like now we're more consistent than we ever were before. We, we uh, when we, we we went to Leicester, we had some really really good days. And we had some really bad days. We were not consistent. We were good at some days, and we were really bad at other days. I mean, we, we th thanks to beginners, we we were able to go to to Leicester actually because we had such a bad uh, time uh, on on the ESL qualifiers. Or what, what was it? Yeah. Um, yes. The, when they yeah. see the when, yeah. yeah 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 we we lost our boat matches and and yeah really really bad but now yeah. when we play now it's really it's really consistent uh we had our, our worst match against uh rome i think and after that we, have, like, we were rome? like okay <laughs> no 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 i mean i mean drawing my blade to end it you. must e yeah even even Kiletos won from rome so uh, no 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 yeah even no, them we, we, they suck <laughs> we, we, we lost against rome and that was the moment that we said we should be better than this. And uh, after that, we, we challenged every American team that we could, and uh, we won them all. So uh, yeah. Well, eventually, when Kalos comes comes back, at, <laughs> if if I can get more people's wives and sisters to play, uh, uh, you had your chance. You had your. Chance. I I challenged you, and you said no. You said I didn't no. say no. I no. You to. said no. Let me check. Can I, can Let I, me I just stop it. everyone and just just tell you, Rome played really well. As a team, okay. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they played better than us. We didn't play badly. They yeah, stop shitting at Rome. I love Rome. Yeah, they played really well. You started. Yeah, Rome. Well, Rome. You... Something different, a, a slightly different change of pace on the advice. Something actionable, very simple, specific to onward. Pick two maps and own those two maps. And by the time you get to the point where you might have something of a reputation or maybe the stats speak for themselves, that you got two maps that you're good at, one of them's going to get banned all the time, and you got one home map that you're going to fall back on every time, win it every time. And once you get to that point, then you can branch out to other maps. That would be my advice. That's actually good advice, um, because that was, for our season, we kept getting Snow Peak banned against us, and it sucked. <laughs> but it was like <laughs> Snow Peak and Subway, we practiced those two over and over again so it was always one or the other but then you'd hit teams who were really good on subway although i don't know we are undefeated on snow peaks so if, you, so if that happens though if that happens though that's the learning experience because if you've got only two maps that you think these are our maps let's own these two maps if someone does beat you on it you need to like have people on your team who are recording you need to be getting that game cast you need to make sure that you can go back and look at that and and understand what did we do wrong or alternatively what did they do right and what could we have done differently to, to respond yeah. to that and and really focus on, on at least having that one thing because the worst feeling ever is going up against a team and getting 3 0 by that team. Um, and, and if you can go ahead. listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> if you can if you can have at least one small victory, even if you're gonna lose, you know, one to two in a league match, if you can have that one victory, be like, you know what? We beat them on our map at least. Um, that's that is that's a good place to start from, and that can that can sort of help you realize that you know okay yeah we lost on the maps that are not our maps, but we won on our map. Let's see if we can expand that expertise to the the rest of the maps over time. That's something that'll come with time. Um, but you know starting out, there's so much material out there, so many angles. I mean, if you just walk around Bazaar, you stand anywhere on that map. There's 
14 different places that you can be shot from no matter where you are. And yeah. it's just really overwhelming um, if you're not someone who's particularly familiar with Bazaar. And, and for a new team on all of these maps, all the angles in all the places, it's, it's, it's overwhelming. So you really have to try and focus that um, to make it more approachable. There's, I think it's important to innovate and to come up with these ideas. I think they're kind of the lifeblood of the games. Like that's Armored has a sandbox element that other games don't have that makes it so attractive as well. And that's part of the fun is like putting a smoke through a wall, you know, figuring out how you can chain these things together, how you could use a drone to support your push. You know, all these things make the game so much fun and, and are also intricately complex to pull off with people and tools. And that is what I love about it. Vivian, Vivian, you want to see plays? Stay tuned for the next three hours. What? <laughs> guys, guys, we need plays. Who, who, are you guys, who are you guys afraid to play? <laughs> what? Afraid? I, no one. I, I, I honestly, I, I honestly. The last time we Rome, went head to head, Rome the was on I stage. I don't want to meet Rome in the in the in. So no. <clears throat> I'm not afraid of any team. I'm I'm not afraid of anyone. I'm excited to snipe Mike Crook on, on Global Cam. I'm coming nice. for you, Mike. Round three. I'm coming for you. I'll say this, Vivian, at the moment. Um, we used to scrim Global Cam. We've got a great rela relationship with Global Cam, like really good relationship with Global Cam um, as teams go. But we haven't scrimmed them or played them this season or SMC Tactical. And they've not played us. So, you know, obviously we've played Blaze. Um, Demolish them. <laughs> um, obliterated. But I think going into this, we have no idea what we're in for or what they're in for. Um, SMC Tactical and Global Game, we just don't know. The two yeah. unknown teams at the moment, whereas previous seasons we had a, a you know, would have played them quite a few times by now. Um, SMC Tactical, you should we haven't, worry so. about Sir Lucian. He's a really good <laughs> sniper. No. Boss fight playbook. Not worried. <laughs> My crook has me worried. My crook, may, my crook has me thinking. My crook, I've seen what he does. I've seen what he does. I've been watching him very closely. It's not snap turn sniping anyone. Snap turns with the shield, sure, that's pussy still. It's uh, I don't know, sure. I, I, only because I can't move in my room, but I don't play shield because I'm too short, which people say it should work, but it actually doesn't. It clips into the floor. Yeah. Or something. Oh yeah, when you let go, it goes boing. <laughs> yeah, it goes yeah, boing, it goes so I can't orbit. even. Yeah, yeah. Your microphone's um, falling off or something, you idiot. Although, hell, we were happy to just qualify, you know. So we're just we're friends who enjoy playing together, enjoy practicing together, coming up with shit and working together. We're just gonna go in there, do our best, win or lose. You know what? I'm fucking super proud of us this season. Yeah, I I gotta say, I I was I I found it very um touching when when the whole thing happened and your team kind of like fell apart, boss fight fell apart, and then suddenly Radar and Viper came back. I'm like, are they seriously coming back? And I just thought that was really, like, a very good show of friendship and camaraderie between all of you guys. Like, so, that, so like make, hey, you know what? We're no busy. Mistake. We're not here. We're not playing. And then suddenly you guys show up. And I thought that was really cool. Make yeah. no mistake. There was nothing sudden about that. Raiderhead and Viper may, may not have been playing in our weekly matches, but they have always been in spirit a part of boss fight the whole time that they were not formally on the roster they were still there every single week mostly talking crap to us about how bad we were doing <laughs> but they've always oh. been there they've always been there analyzing our footage you know uh, uh giving recommendations coming up with strategy giving us feedback you know they, they they didn't unfortunately have the time for a while there to commit to physically playing but in spirit they've always been there well done. that's going to be our interview with the boss fight today thanks guys for joining us and good luck on You're your welcome. matches the last minute dancing that's cool yeah scooby looks like a dancer <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming by and, and hanging out. And we will be bringing more shows for you uh, with interviews with hopefully a mixture of, of players, not just one team. Yeah, and, of course, awesome. not just Onward. We also right have shows coming up with Echo and Pavlov. So check those out coming to you soon. Otherwise, good luck, guys. Have fun. Oh, hey. Thanks, Viv. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. thanks, Viv. Thanks for watching, everyone. Shout out to everybody, all the boss fight fans and all the other teams. <laughs> all three of them. <laughs> you guys do love each other. Yeah. I was his best yeah. man at his wedding.
Yeah. Calm down. Radar, radar was like <laughs> instrumental in my rise to, to YouTube mediocrity. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a short break no. and talk with Rowdy about you right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you.